Hi, Ron Pinkerton here again. Welcome to Upgrading Domain Configurations, the seventh in our series of eight videos about upgrading to Oracle SOA Suite 12C. As the title suggests, in this video, we'll take a look at upgrading domain configurations with the Upgrade Assistant. We're about to complete the last of our core upgrade tasks, which is to upgrade the domain configurations. More precisely, we'll use the Upgrade Assistant to upgrade several components including Oracle Java Required Files, or JRF, System Components Infrastructure, Oracle Web Services Manager, and Oracle User Messaging Service. We'll run the Upgrade Assistant on the host with the admin server, as we did before. Then, later in the process, we'll pack the changed files up, copy them to the other host, and unpack them to ensure that the domain is upgraded identically on both hosts. We'll invoke the Upgrade Assistant the same way we did to upgrade the database schemas. On the host with the admin server, we'll navigate to Oracle Home, Oracle Common, Upgrade, Bin, and run the UA from there. Let's invoke the Upgrade Assistant. The welcome screen appears first. No action items for us here, so we proceed. When we used the Upgrade Assistant to upgrade our schemas, we accepted the default schemas option. This time, we want to upgrade our WebLogic component configurations, so we select that option. When we do, we're prompted for the WebLogic domain directory. A little bit tricky here. It's offering us a 12C domain directory path, but that's not what we want. Let's browse to the 11G domain that we want to upgrade. Double check, we've got our 11G domain directory, and click Next. This screen provides a list of components that will be included in the Domain Component Configuration Upgrade. They include Java Required Files, or JRF, System Components Infrastructure, Oracle Web Service Manager, and User Messaging Service. There's no actual inputs on this screen, so we proceed. We're at the prerequisites screen, and as we saw before, it's going to require us to acknowledge that all prerequisites have been met before we continue with the upgrade. We need to check each one of these boxes before we can continue. Yes, we've done our backup. Yes, our database version is supported. And yes, certification and system requirements for this upgrade have been met. The Upgrade Assistant prompts us for the Linux user and password name for the host with the remote managed server. We provide that information. The Examine screen displays the status of the Upgrade Assistant as it examines each component, verifying that the component is ready for upgrade. Each of the choices we've made is listed. We have a series of green check marks that indicates the examination was successful. We also see that two of the components won't need upgraded, so we click Next. The Upgrade Summary lets us review a summary of the options we've selected and to start the upgrade process. So let's go ahead and click Upgrade. The upgrade is underway. The Upgrade Progress screen will show us the status. We reached 100%, so we click Next. The Upgrade Success window lists the newly upgraded WebLogic components. If for any reason your upgrade isn't successful, you can click the View Log button at the bottom of the screen or note the log file location before closing the window. We've got a series of green check marks, so we're happy. Let's go ahead and click Close. We've updated the host with the admin server. Now, we'll use the pack script to pack the changed files to be copied to the other host. The pack command creates a template archive, or jar file, that contains a snapshot of either an entire domain or a subset of a domain. In our example, We'll use a template that contains a subset of a domain to create a managed server domain directory hierarchy on a remote machine. We'll execute the pack script from the new 12C Oracle home. We'll pass parameters to the pack script indicating the domain we wish to pack, the name of the template, and template file. We'll also use the managed parameter which specifies that the template is to be used to create managed servers on remote machines. Okay, let's go ahead and pack up our changes.
and the pack command reports success. Now we'll copy the newly created template file to the remote host. There's a variety of ways to do this. In our example, we're going to use the Unix SCP or secure copy command. To do this, we invoke the command with the name of the file to be copied, followed by user at host name destination path. OK, let's copy the template file to the other host. Provide our password. And the file's copied. When you use the unpack command with a managed server template, it creates a managed server domain directory, which includes just the files necessary for a managed server domain. Executing the command on screen will unpack the template file named SOA domain upgrade template.jar to the specified domain directory. We're also using the overwrite domain parameter, which instructs unpack to overwrite the domain directory if it already exists. OK, we're on the remote server. Let's go ahead and unpack our managed server domain directory. Our domain is successfully unpacked. Time to move on to our post-upgrade tasks. At this point, we've completed the core upgrade tasks. But there's still a few things to do before we start our new 12C environment to ensure that our components continue to function as expected. For more information about those tasks, be sure to watch the next video in this series, Performing Post-Upgrade Tasks and Verifying Success. Until then, I'm Ron Pinkerton. Thank you for your time and attention.